Astronomy is one of humanity's oldest sciences, rooted in our innate curiosity about the stars and the mysteries of the heavens. Thousands of years ago, our ancestors looked up at the sky, observing patterns and cycles that helped them make sense of the world. These early observations were more than simple stargazing. They were practical. The positions of the stars, the phases of the moon, and the movements of the sun allowed people to track time, predict the seasons, and organize their lives around the rhythms of nature. Prehistoric cultures left behind incredible evidence of their understanding of the cosmos. Stone monuments like Stonehenge in England, built around 3100 BCE, align with the solstices, suggesting an awareness of celestial cycles. In Egypt's Nabta Playa, even older stone circles from 5000 BCE hint at early astronomical knowledge tied to agricultural needs. By observing the stars, our ancestors laid the foundations of astronomy long before the invention of writing or modern science. The first systematic approaches to astronomy emerged in Mesopotamia around 1800 BCE. The Babylonians meticulously recorded celestial events on clay tablets, creating some of the earliest star catalogs. They also noticed regularities in the movements of the moon and planets, which allowed them to predict phenomena like eclipses. Their division of the sky into 12 zodiac signs became a framework that influences our understanding of the heavens to this day. In ancient Egypt, astronomy was deeply intertwined with religion and daily life. The Egyptians observed the star Sirius, whose heliacal rising coincided with the flooding of the Nile, a vital event for agriculture. They used this to create a 365-day calendar, one of the first solar-based timekeeping systems the orientation of their pyramids and temples was often aligned with celestial events, reflecting their belief that the heavens were connected to the divine. Half a world away in the Americas, the Maya and Aztecs developed highly sophisticated astronomical systems. The Mayans in particular built observatories like those at Chichen Itza and used their knowledge to create calendars so precise that they rival some modern calculations. They tracked Venus with stunning accuracy, regarding it as a powerful symbol in their mythology and rituals. The Aztecs, too, relied on celestial observations to structure their religious practices and agricultural schedules. As humanity's understanding of the sky grew, the Greeks were the first to move astronomy beyond observation and into theory. By the 6th century BCE, philosophers like Pythagoras suggested that Earth was spherical, not flat a revolutionary idea at the time. Aristotle provided further evidence for this, noting how Earth's shadow on the moon during a lunar eclipse was curved. Around 240 BCE, Eratosthenes used simple geometry and the angle of sunlight at different locations to estimate Earth's circumference with remarkable accuracy. Greek astronomers also tried to understand the structure of the cosmos the most influential model was proposed by Ptolemy in the 2nd century CE. In his book, The Almagest, he described a geocentric system where Earth sat at the center of the universe, with the sun, moon, planets, and stars revolving around it in perfect circles. While incorrect, this model was elegant and practical, dominating Western astronomy for over 1,400 years. Meanwhile, other civilizations were making their own groundbreaking contributions. In India, astronomers like Aryabhata, born 476 CE, developed mathematical techniques to describe celestial motion. Aryabhata proposed that Earth rotates on its axis, a concept that would not be widely accepted in Europe until centuries later. Indian texts like the Surya Siddhanta contained detailed calculations of planetary orbits that were astonishingly precise for their time. In China, astronomy was a state-supported science with meticulous record-keeping. Chinese astronomers observed comets, novae, and eclipses, sometimes even linking these phenomena to political or social events. Their records of celestial phenomena stretching back thousands of years are still valuable to modern researchers studying the long-term behavior of celestial bodies. The Islamic Golden Age, 8th, 14th centuries, marked a period of extraordinary advancements in astronomy. 
Scholars in the Islamic world preserved and expanded upon Greek and Indian knowledge, translating works like Ptolemy's Almagest into Arabic. Observatories were built in cities like Baghdad and Samarkand, where astronomers refined measurements of planetary motion and developed instruments like the astrolabe. Figures like Al-Biruni and Al-Tusi challenged the geocentric model, paving the way for later developments. The Renaissance in Europe brought a revolution in astronomy, led by figures like Nicholas Copernicus. In 1543, Copernicus published De Revolutionibus Orbium Soelestium, proposing a heliocentric model in which the Sun, not Earth, was at the center of the universe. This radical idea overturned centuries of geocentric thinking and set the stage for further discoveries. Galileo Galilei, using a telescope in the early 17th century, observed moons orbiting Jupiter and phases of Venus, providing direct evidence for the heliocentric model. His work was groundbreaking, though controversial, leading to clashes with the Catholic Church. Johannes Kepler built on Copernicus's ideas, discovering that planetary orbits were not perfect circles, but ellipses. His Laws of Planetary Motion, published between 1609 and 1619, transformed astronomy into a precise science. Isaac Newton later unified Kepler's work with his Laws of Motion and Universal Gravitation, explaining the forces that govern the movements of celestial bodies. The invention of powerful telescopes in the 18th and 19th centuries expanded humanity's view of the cosmos. Astronomers like William Herschel discovered new planets, Uranus, while others cataloged thousands of stars and nebulae. In the 20th century, Edwin Hubble used the Mount Wilson Observatory to prove that the universe is expanding, marking the beginning of modern cosmology. Today, Astronomy is a cutting-edge science that combines ground-based observatories, space telescopes, and robotic probes to explore the universe. We've landed on the moon, sent rovers to Mars, and observed distant galaxies billions of light-years away. Yet, at its heart, astronomy remains what it has always been, humanity's quest to understand our place in the vast cosmos. From ancient star charts, to modern observatories, our journey through the stars is a testament to our enduring curiosity and ingenuity.